Hi, welcome to the CDOCS tip of the day. Today we're going to talk about the virtual articulator. The virtual articulator has been a part of the CEREC software for a long time and we recommend you use it whenever you are using the software. To turn it on, you simply go to the administration section and click on the virtual articulator icon on the bottom left. Make sure the articulation icon is checked. This means that the articulator is turned on. Ensure that the use articulation for initial proposal is not turned on. If that is turned on and you have a bad scan or bad articulation, you're going to get a very poor proposal. Take your upper, lower, buckle bite as normal and proceed to designing your restoration. You want to go ahead and set your model axis. Think of the model axis as sort of a virtual Facebook. The software needs to make sure that the models are set up properly so it can give you the proper articulation information. Marginate as you normally do and then go ahead and get your initial proposal. When you're ready to design, go ahead through your normal design techniques and turn on the articulation function to adjust your occlusion. So the way you turn it on is, let's say if you have your occlusion, we're gonna take this crown and we're gonna make it just hyper occlusion. In the articulation icon, you have a, a button called the occlusal compass. The occlusal compass, when you click it on, it not only shows you where your high spots are, but it also shows you where all the interferences are. And you can turn on the different interferences and turn them on and off. So the red would be your hyper occlusion. The green, the yellow, the blue, they all indicate areas of excursive interferences. Now in a future video, we'll show you how to adjust those, but you can just use your regular tools, your form tool, your shape tool to adjust those high spots. So in the normal view, we only have the regular static occlusion. But what the virtual articulator and the occlusal compass does, it shows us all of the interferences that may potentially be present on this particular case.